rather she's working as an attorney, serving as an associate dean for administration at the Oklahoma City University, or running a marathon, you can always find her completing something. Here to talk to us about how I cried twice, lessons from my first marathon, help me welcome Jennifer Prillyman. I'm going to talk about some of the lessons I learned while training for my first marathon um, and half marathon. And I hope that these lessons can apply not only to marathon training, but to a number of other things. Um, so first in this picture, I want to point out that um, not everyone looks like this when they're training for a marathon. We actually look a lot hotter. Um, literally, you're covered in blood and sweat and tears. Um, it's really a really not very pleasant experience. But I was always fascinated with the idea of completing a marathon. It was a lifelong goal of mine, something that I thought if I could do this, I could do anything. But I was not an athlete. I liked books and music and all of those other things. But with the pandemic, like many of us, I found myself with a lot of free time on my hands and a lot of time to begin thinking about what I wanted out of my life and where I wanted my life to go. And like many of us too, I suffered from some chronic depression and anxiety. So I found myself taking very long walks every day um, kind of sorting out my brain. And while on those walks, I started to get the idea of, what if I added in some jogging and some running? Where could I take, where could this go for me? Um, so the first thing was, first lesson was mind over matter. This was incredibly important because I realized on those walks that I wanted to live differently. I wanted a different kind of life. I wanted to be the best version of myself. Um, but to do that, I needed to make some changes. And so, I uh, began thinking about, could I run a marathon? And this notion that if I could complete a marathon, then I could do anything else that I ever wanted to try. So that's how I got into marathon training. My next lesson that I quickly learned is that nobody is paying any attention to you. So when I first started in October of 2020, I was very self-conscious. I worried about the outfits, what I looked like in running tights, what I looked like while I was running. Um, and then I finally realized that nobody was looking at me because they were all worried about the same thing. So that really helped me kind of get going and get motivated in running. Um, another lesson that I learned very early on is that you don't have to run the whole time. There's this myth when you're training for long distance running that you have to run the whole time. And no, you need to stop and take breaks just like in life. So take a water break, eat a snack, pet a lake kitty. I think I've met every dog at Lake Hefner. Um, it just made it such a much more enjoyable experience when I was able to do that. Another lesson that I learned very quickly is that, so this is when I ran my first 22 miles, I was not that happy. Um, but if you're starting out in, a dis in distance running, start by walking first. I began with walking and added in the running and the jogging, and over time I was able to build up that mileage. Another lesson that I learned is that Oklahoma City is filled with a great community of runners. So it's important to just show up and find your community. And what happened with me is I was an independent runner. I ran by myself, didn't want to run with other people, didn't want to try to keep their pace, didn't want to worry about their pace. And one of my coworkers, I ran into him one day during the pandemic. We both happened to be in the office. He's like, hey, come to my running group. I didn't want to go. It was like seven in the morning, it was cold in January, but I showed up and it was one of the best decisions I ever made because I found this great community of people who I'd never known before, would never have met, and they became an inspiration and encouragers. And what was really cool about it is we all ran at different paces, but we were all running our own journeys. So it was a really kind of wonderful experience to meet them. Um, one of the other lessons that I learned, and this five minutes goes by really fast, <laughs> It's to just enjoy the journey. There is, I'm not an, a competitive athlete. I'm not going to win a marathon. Maybe one day I will. But just to take the time and embrace everything that is around you. Enjoy the sights, the sounds, the people, um, the friends that you meet along the way. It makes it a much more enjoyable experience. And I think if you carry this with you in any aspect of your life, it's a much more enjoyable experience. And one of the final things I learned was just, just to do it, just to sign up. And once you sign up for that first race, whether it's a 5K, a 10K, or a full-on marathon, um, the energy that you experience when you go, the people that you meet, will keep you going back over and over and over again. And it doesn't matter if you run a six-minute mile or you walk an 18-minute mile, 
you're going to have an amazing time, you're going to meet amazing people, and your, your life is going to be transformed. And so what I ultimately took from all of this is at the end of the day, when I completed my first marathon back in October, October 4th of 2021, um, my life had changed. I was making, suddenly making all of these decisions. I'd grown in confidence. I was changing my career. I was doing all of the things that I wanted to do, and all from just kind of the simple act of deciding one day that I wanted to run a marathon. So I hope that you have that thing in your life that you really want to do and that you try it. So thank you. Come on, you got to clap like that's your cousin, your best friend. Give a round of applause for Jennifer.